with this. <laughs> I'm confused by what she's doing. It looks like she's uh, huffing like a very fine designer bag. Welcome guys, welcome Hello. to Hi. Montreal. Welcome to our uh, beautiful radio station. It's very exciting to be here. Yeah, it's very exciting to having you guys. Oh, thank you. So we, we saw like the exhibition yesterday and was, it was really awesome. And like, we, we saw the documentary on uh, the propaganda, art and crimes. Uh, uh, pop propaganda. Propaganda, right. Yeah. And uh, it was really a, an awesome documentary two years ago at the Fantasia Festival. And you were there. I was there. <laughs> it was really fantastic. And like since then, me and Fanny, we, we, we're still in love with your art. And uh, Van Arno as well. Uh, we, we saw your stuff on Juxtapose magazine. And it oh, was, thank you. It was really awesome. And yesterday, uh, we, we, saw really ex we were really exciting to, uh, to have you guys here. Yeah, well, this, is, this is my first time in Montreal, so I'm very, very time. happy to be here, and I've gotten a wonderful reception. This and is his uh, first time on the radio, too. Please really? Ra radio Virgin. Yes. <laughs> so be gentle. And uh, it's uh, like good representative of the east side and the, and the west coast uh, of the uh, United States. You're from LA, right? Yes, I'm from Los Angeles. And yeah. you're from New York City, for I'm gonna, sure. I'm going to pop a cap in him later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm New York City. <laughs> I'm going to translate for, for uh, our <laughs> audience. Uh, We're both kind of part of the same group called the uh, lowbrows or the uh, pop surrealist, or they usually call us something different every other week. But yeah, we're, we're part of this little art army that, that's kind of like the juxtapose army. Yeah, it's so, pretty well represented by Juxtapose magazine, and it's a really wide-ranging uh, type of work. There's like super heavy figurative work, and there's very cartoony work, and there's very tattoo-oriented work, and it's uh, it was described best to me but it's, it's, it's artists who really create a reality where they would prefer to live. Artists you might, your, your listeners might be familiar with like Shag and Camille Rose Garcia. Yeah, they, sure. they, 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 it's almost like they've created the set for an animated film and all of their action and all of their paintings takes place in this other world. And I think they'd actually prefer to live there. <laughs> I think that's what kind of unites all these artists. That's, that's the only thing I could come up with that, because it's a very wide ranging group of styles. And for for your your personal type of artwork, have you ever done uh, anything like Mr. English for like a, like vandalism or like a graffiti or like? Uh, I've I've done activities? I've I've done things where I've actually gotten a sponsor who's paid for a billboard and I've put work on it. So it wasn't really. It's like cheating. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> it was very it was very cowardly. I took it was like more cowardly approach than Ron's. So I mean, I'm very interested in, in having large work in public spaces, but I've certainly not come anywhere near doing the amount Ron's done. Is, are you doing a touring like in, in every single city in North America of, for exhibitions? Um, I'm 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 trying to. I mean, Ron and I both try to show as many different places as possible, and we've shown together frequently, and we're really good friends, and we always have a good time showing together. So, Ron, you're 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 nodding on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and you're talking, so that's, I want to talk while you're you talking. Talk now. You know? Yeah, um, but a, lo a lot of a lot of us do. We do like to do double shows because it's a lot more fun. Because then you go fly to some place, and then you have a pal there waiting to hang out with you. So yeah, for sure, it's a good thing. And it's like your rock star type of thing. Like you're you're not the usual uh, artist type. Uh, like you know, I don't know, uh, coming out of the limousine, and like you're you're very like. Don't do yeah, but the, the problem yeah. is that limousine we came in, we, we were the drivers. Uh -oh. Yeah, <laughs> and Angelina Jolie was the one who was in the back, not us. <laughs> so we're, we're it's actually, almost like being in a limousine. We're actually working very hard to not be so down to earth and get more into the limousine. <laughs> but, but thank you. There's nothing glamorous, uh, and that that's what's cool about your your work. It, it, we we seems like very like we we can relate to like young. Like people from uh, it's it's like very I mean I, as a painter you sit this is what I always say is you sit in a room alone with this painting for three months or four months or you know however long it takes you to paint this body of work and it's so nice to get out and show it to people and have a party and have people talk about it it's it, it's more gratifying than I could even describe because it's such a solitary thing to create it I I, I wrote the lyrics that tell and the lyrics tell a story the story of the second coming of Jesus. And, and then I, I recruited different bands to kind of do the different songs. So like Daniel Johnson does the little kid Jesus because he's kind of got that kiddish kind of vibe and yeah. voice. And 
Yes. And then Mojo Nixon is Judas Iscariot, you know, or the guy talking to him, so he's kind of got that rough voice. And so it was a lot of fun. But, you know, I do a lot of music projects. Like, um, I think Daniel Johnson was just here. Yeah, last yeah he week. was here. Like, and we, we saw him like two weeks ago. Yeah, and then he, after he flew out of here, he came down and then we recorded a song together and we made a couple paintings together. So I just saw him, like, after you guys saw him. Wow. And um, then I made four songs um, this spring with my children. And we have a book coming out this summer called Son of Pop. And it's, I made a hundred paintings of my kids, like as Shriners, as clowns, smoking, and just doing different stuff. It like took 10 years to make all these paintings. And then when you buy the book, you get a little CD where they sing these four songs I wrote for them. So uh, we're going to listen another song from the, the Revelations book to the Second Coming. It's uh, Mojo Nixon, uh, Iscariot the Patriot. On va écouter une pièce de Mojo Nixon, Iscariot the Patriot, et c'est tiré de la même compilation. Et, uh, so you co-wrote uh, this song for, for Mojo Nixon, right? With Mojo Nixon, right. Yeah. He's really awesome. Oh, he, yes, he yes. He does some, yes. some special thing with the Jello Biafra, for example. I, I saw that concert when they did that down in Austin. It was great, yeah. So, donc on écoute ça immédiatement, Mojo Nixon avec Iscariot de Patriot, tout ça sur les ondes 89.3 FM à CISM. Ah, j'ai mauvaise I got like a second degree felony in Texas um, in 1984, and then I got busted for doing one sticker uh, a couple years ago in New York City. Only twice? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's so funny. This is actually a few years ago, but it was when Giuliani was the, um, the mayor, and he was crazy you know I had seven arresting officers I put up one sticker and they, they kept me in jail for like two days and, and I put up one sticker tell us about this sticker Rod it, it, well I got charged with seven different things it was like uh, creating a public nuisance um, disturbing the peace uh, um, illegal advertising uh, it, it, yeah, just a whole list of charges against me and, and I had these seven people that arrested me and then I said, well, are you guys going to go arrest anybody else? You're just going to arrest me? Like, you know, because they stayed with me the whole night. And they, um, no, no, we're just going to arrest you, and then we're going to drink, drink coffee for the rest of the day. So, I mean, it was, you know, crazy times. Yeah, now this is what baffles me. What was on this sticker? This oh, it was an advertisement for that uh, album, We Just Heard Revelations, book two. Hi, my name is Ron English. And I'm Van Arno. And you're listening to CISM. Yes.